This is Horizons FD100. This is an interesting boat. In particular, it's a customer specification and it's got an interior on it, which I've never seen before on one of these. It's really rather special. So I'm going to take you on board and give you the full tour. We've got the high-low platform. This one's got the beach club. We're going to come back to this because crew area is down here, engines, all that kind of stuff. So we'll take that in, in a little while. But I want to show you the interior, first of all, because it is rather spectacular. Now, one of the things you always find on these is a really large and sociable cockpit area, and this is no exception. Really good size, lovely as soon as you come onto the boat from here. Great place to sit and relax, greet people. There's a bar area here, so you've got stuff like the ice maker. There's a sink underneath there, fridge in that one and so on. So it's a great serving area and a great spot to greet people or just to relax during the day. It's shaded, of course, by this big overhang. We're going to head on forward. I want to show you the interior, but you'll notice the side decks coming down either side. They've got doors that just close across, so it stops the draft coming through. Of course, if you're at anchor, it'll lie head to wind, and the wind will funnel down through here. So those are basically wind stoppers that come across. Um, that is accessed down to the crew area. There's two ways into there. So when I talk about the second route into the crew cabin, that's what I'm referring to. That's where it comes out. But take a look at this, because this has got I think I'm right in saying it's oak, but it's got this light wood interior. And it really is quite something. The owner apparently was going for a, like a cabin feel. He's got a cabin in Colorado, I think um, I was told earlier. And this is designed to give that sort of vibe. It was all done by a Miami designer, and it looks really quite special, I think. We've got day heads back here. Very good position for that, because of course, from the cockpit, you're in and straight into there but it also works well for this area as well. Lovely, comfortable seating areas you always get on these. You've got the beautiful little armchairs over here. That's great. And then the dining area is just here. So lovely place for people to gather, have a meal. You've got the windows that drop right down to deck level on both sides, and they've cut away the bulwarks as well. You can see the way it's got the rails along here, and that gives a fantastic view out, even when you sat down. So that is that. It's special, isn't it? TV and so forth over there. And then if we head on forward, there is the, um, the galley area. So that's here, it's got the central island, which is really nice. Um, this will partition off, so if you've got crew and you want to keep these areas separate, you can do. If you come across here, in fact, this is all um, cold storage and that kind of thing, there's great big fridge freezers as well. There's an access door here out onto the side deck and back, and then you can close this off. So depending on how you're using the boat, if you want to have this as a separate zone, you can do that closes off there. That one raises up, and that makes this a separate area. And as I say, the crew can come and go without needing to go through this at all. Lots of bits of storage about the place. Cooking facilities here. Nice little, it's like a little crew mess area. So people can sit and chat with others cooking, that sort of thing. That's all the refrigeration across there. And then we've got cooking here and here. There'll be no doubt a dishwasher. Yes, there it is, tucked away over there. Sinks and so forth, all the usual sort of stuff you'd expect to find in a galley of a yacht of this caliber. Check this out. Fantastic. Okay, let's press on forward. Main deck owner's cabin on this one. Another side access door there that's straight out. If we go on forward, there's stairs up there to the upper deck. We'll take a look at those in a little while. But we'll go this way first of all. So what we've got here, big cedar-lined wardrobes. Lovely dressing area across here. Of course, you've got these great big hull windows as well. So the view out, if you're out at anchor, would just be fantastic. And then this is the owner's cabin. Lovely size. This is a great place to come and put your feet up. <laughs> tuck yourself away with a proverbial good book, but I'm not sure you'd read much of it because you'd be sat there with a tremendous view out over the water. That circular fellow's a little opening one, so if you want to have fresh air instead of air conditioning, then you can do. We've got uh, AV equipment in here as well, of course. And then forward from here is the ensuite. So we have this section here. Of course, this slides across. It's a pocket door, so you can enclose that. And then this surface here kind of matches the woodwork, really, doesn't it? Very nice indeed. And then the shower is around here like this. 
and you'll see you've got these frosted doors for privacy so when that's closed over and the one on the other side is the same you can't see through because if we wander around the other side you'll see we've got the same kind of deal again the other thing we've got in here incidentally is massive closet space in here as well so that's really good and then as you'd imagine in behind here a lot of storage all over the boat and hull windows here as well there are blinds that drop down across these so if you're in a marina or something you want a bit more privacy then you can have it cool huh more hanging space there more hanging space here not going to open it all because we'd be here all day what i'm going to do instead is take you back out of here we'll come around here the storage is everywhere you can see it's all tucked away all over the place on this boat you can have that shelved out if you wanted to these are the steps up to the upper deck we're going to go past those at the moment take a loop around here past this side access door and head down to the lower deck so come right on down what we've got down here is four cabins we can head back that one there is laundry facilities and then four really nice sized cabins so big beds big windows loads of storage you've got hanging lockers just here and then you've got the um the ensuite this here these have got again pocket doors that slide across and meet each other to close that off but then you've also got a separate door there so you can if you want just leave this open and just close that off a little bit privacy and then you've got the sink again with this um it's marble i think but it's toned in to be very close to the woodwork and then you've got a shower over on this side so that is one of the guest cabins. If we trundle across the yacht to the port side, we will discover a very similar, in fact, it's pretty much a mirror image, isn't it? AV equipment here. This is exactly the same. Toilet with a door that closes it off and shower on that side and then pocket doors that slide across here. And if I reverse into here, you can see you've got the hanging storage and other storage and so forth um, all the way across there. So that is those two cabins. We can press on forward a little bit further. There's one here with a pair of single beds in it. Again, with the hanging storage, again with the AV equipment, and again with the ensuite. And this one has the shower in behind here. Very nice. That's the smallest one in the boat. And you wouldn't complain at that, would you? But you definitely wouldn't complain. If we come forward, this is the VIP guest cabin. So ensuite for this cabin is here. So the actual door threshold is here. You come in, ensuite is on this side, again with a shower tucked in behind here. And then if we go forward, that's what this one looks like. So we're up towards the front of the boat now. You can see how the shape of the hull is coming in on both sides bed in the centre, storage all dotted around the place. Very nice indeed. These are little controls here, in case you're wondering, these little Dometic fellas, if we touch them. There we go, air conditioning controls. Good, that's that. Um, hanging lockers, all the usual sort of stuff that you'd expect in a yacht of this calibre. You get a sense of the size when you walk back down through here, don't you? Fantastic. Little fridge down there as well, so you can keep drinks cool for people if they want to grab one, they can do. All right, that's the lower deck. I'm moving reasonably fast because the show opens 15 minutes ago and I'm dashing around before we start getting people coming on board. They've got me in early, so we can have a decent look at this. Some of the um, systems for the yacht are available, easy to get to. And if we come on around here, this then is the Sky Lounge. And up here, they've even put that wood on the ceiling. For me, it gives me kind of like a bit of a beach house vibe, but I can certainly see the cabin thing as well. It's very cosy. We've got the helm position up here, so you've got the three big, comfortable, stid seats. And then across here, you can see we've got the multifunction displays, four of them. You set those up however you want, but this one's the monitoring system for the yacht. We've got radar at the moment, depth, navigation, but again, configure those however you will. 
engine instrumentation displays on these CAT instruments. We've got throttle controls, we've got the bow and stern thruster controls on here as well. She's got the track stabilisation, so fin stabilisers and the big vertical wheel. And these always have these forward sloping screens, so you've got a great view out and you don't get the sun beating in on them in quite the same way as you do when the screens slope backwards. We're going to head out there, side access doors as well, both sides, but we're going to go back, take in this area here. There's a TV that comes out of here. This is a lovely place. Come and tuck yourself away, watch a movie. Kids perhaps coming up here, gaming, that kind of stuff. Absolutely ideal. And you've also got a day heads for the other deck. Superb. All right, let's come out of here. And we're now on the upper deck, half deck. So lovely bar area here. It's all so relaxing, this boat. You can really imagine yourself having a great time on here. Um, here you've got uh, the bar area. So this is stuff like the ice maker again. There'll be a fridge in there and there'll be sink in underneath there. So great for catering out to this area. And the hot tub is here too. And in fact, they've made another little bar area here. That's great. We can sit in here, chat to people here. Fantastic. If we come back here, barbecue lives underneath that one. And that is the, uh, the propane for it. They've left this completely open. So you could have sun managers out here. Um, but also, you'll notice there's a crane. And the idea of this is you can bring your tender up here. You could put jet skis up here if you wanted to. So again, it's just giving you a lot more facilities for tender handling, for jet ski handling, all that kind of stuff. You've got a lot of options. You've got that bathing platform that we saw when we came on. And you've got this massive, great big zone up here. So again, set that up however you want. We're going to head forward. There's a sun deck on this one. I will show you that. But what we're going to do is, in fact, I'm going to show you that one first. Yeah. This is the way to do it. We'll go up here first. Another helm position. So again, with the multifunction displays, throttles, thrusters, all that kind of stuff. So you can actually control the boat completely from here and an amazing view out because you're so high up, you're looking down on a lot of this stuff. It's just fantastic. A lot of seating, sunbathing. And if you come around here, again, you've got that bar area. So in here is the sink, down in here, storage, but also ice maker and fridge. So again, every zone has its own specific catering. You're not going up and down the stairs trying to get yourself another drink out of the fridge. It's all here, ready for you. Hard top on this one. So we've got shade here and the lovely zone just for chilling out. And that is how that looks from here. And then up on top of there is all the navigation kit. So radar, track vision, the wind speed indication, lights, all that kind of stuff, all up there out of the way. Right. Let's come back around here. Back down to this lovely upper deck area. So main deck, upper deck, sun deck. We're going to go forward. This is back past the sky lounge. The helm position is up here. Remember we had the side access doors from it straight out onto the decks. And if we come right up here, fantastic seating area. And again, all the facilities, you know, the sink, the fridge, all that kind of stuff, it's all here. You're not wandering about looking to freshen your glass. It's all to hand. Sunbathing is up here as well. We've got the bimini on this one, which is nice. Give it a shade. And then all your anchor handling kit, all that kind of stuff. That's right up here. You can see we've got the twin anchor windlasses. Let's come all the way around. We'll stop and take a little look back, but then we'll head down this side. So these steps are going to take us down to the main deck again. And this time I'm going to take you down to the beach club area. I'm going to show you the crew cabins. And of course, always spectacular, the engine space. So let's head right on back. This will bring us out. These are these doors that I spoke about that just stop the wind from blowing through here. That's the door down to the crew area. But I'm going to take you aft and in because I want to show you the beach club. And I want to show you both ways into this space. 
So if we come down here, this is the high-low platform. So say, Tender can live here or up on that upper deck. And this is the beach club area. So this whole transom, this comes down and fills in. You can see the shape of it there matches the shape of it there. That's how that fits into there. And there's also a door you can see so that when it's down, you've still got access out onto the platform. And then once it is open, these bar stools swing around. We've got a bar area here again with the fridge and so forth. Great seating area here. And this is all at water level now because, well, the sea is literally just here. So this is fabulous for water sports, people playing with the toys, that kind of thing. People can sit here, they're in the shade, they can have a drink. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then if we head on forward now, as I say, even with that door down, you can still come through the inset door into this area. And then what you've got in here is the crew area. So lovely mess area here, TV, got some cooking facilities. This is that doorway that we saw up on the aft deck. It's right there. So that is another way into here. Depends how you want to use it. We've got laundry facilities in here as well. cooking, hob, all of that kind of stuff. And then if we come over here, captain's cabin is on this side, so double bed, TV, etc., and an ensuite in here with a separate shower. And if we cross over, we'll find uh, another toilet and shower, and that one is shared by this cabin with twin bunks and this cabin with twin bunks. So you've got five or six crew, no problem at all. And these of course have got storage, air conditioning, all that kind of stuff. All the sorts of things you would expect. But that is a nice little zone, isn't it? Okay, let's go and check out the engines. These are always spectacular. So what we've got up here, this door of course closes over normally. These are a pair of Caterpillar C32As. They are 1,900 horsepower each. They're giving the boat about 20 knots flat out, but she cruises at about 10 with a range of about 1,700 miles, but you can drop it back to about seven and a half knots, push it up to 3,000 miles. So if you're doing some serious distances, this has got the legs to do it. It's nice because it means you've got the performance if you need it, if you want to get in, you know, weather's picking up, you want to wind her up to 20 knots and get home, you can, but most of the time you're cruising eight to 10 knots and getting some serious distance generator on the outside there there's another one on the other side i'll show you in a second big chunky engines aren't they absolutely fantastic you see the exhaust routing up across the top this is air conditioning chillers along here and the other engine on the other side and that is the other generator fire suppression in here these are automatic you don't need to come in here to set those off but you can set them off manually that's why there's this cable here so an emergency you've still got the ability to fire that off but as I say you shouldn't need to this is part of the camera system for the boat so you can monitor everything from those displays that we saw but yeah that is a nice zone got the sink there we've got the vice that is a spot zero system what that's doing is it's purifying water so when you're washing the boat you don't need to chamois it down the water's absolutely pure and then there's also a water maker as well. So that's this, it can create its own fresh water and it can purify it. That is pretty impressive. Fantastic. All right, I think we can safely say that we've covered it. All right, we'll come out of here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come round, not that way. <laughs> I've lost it, here we go. We'll come round this way. Head back up to the cockpit there we go you can see where that comes out now and I'm gonna stand over here and I am gonna say absolutely massive thanks to Horizon Yachts they organized this tour huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching if you've not subscribed hit that button we've got loads more of these coming they're all absolutely fantastic and we we'll look forward to catching you on another one real soon take care bye bye